hello guys in this video i'm going to be showing you how to make use of area point in kobo toolbox area point is a little bit different from um, line point in kobo toolbox because in area point you can um, form a plane you can form a cluster beginning and the end but in line you can only pick points for one particular point to the other let's say for example you want to draw um you want to draw a cluster it is best to make use of area point but if you want to pick two points you can make use of line point so i'm going to show you the index of that so let me just click on this button and click on add question then select area so when i select area you will see something like record and area so let me just click on preview to preview the form on the web so it's going to display so you can see the form on the web so let me just zoom in to um, a particular location on the map so when i click on the point it's going to record the first point and uh, when i click on the second point you should record it when i click on the third one it's going to form a plane it's going to form a plane a polygon so you can see we have the beginning and the end so i can just if i want to close that i can just click on the end point and it's going to close the plane and you have something like a polygon but if i try to uh, take another point in another location it will show an error borders cannot intersect so you can see that but in line you can pick different location so that's the difference between a point uh, a line and area point in kobo toolbox so you can see it forms a polygon you can see it is a polygon so that is how to make use of area point in kobo toolbox thank you